Hey everybody, it's Cotton here, and I'm bringing you another episode in my pure stealth playthrough of Splinter Cell. In the last episode, we retrieved the SC-20K and made our way to the server room, and found out that the information leak has been coming from a computer registered to Mitchell Doherty. In this episode, we are making our way to Doherty's office. Now, to get past here, you can't go over there because there's the metal detectors. Plus, this guy is staring right out into the hallway, so there's no way to get past him by just walking past him. So what you need to do is jump right there, and that will make him go investigate. I think it's funny how the metal detectors don't go off for him, but they would go off for you if you walked through them. But, uh, what you need to do right here is just walk along this wall. There are two cameras up there that you cannot shoot. They are indestructible cameras, but you just hug along the wall and you don't have to worry about them at all. Now, right here, there is a guy who walks back and forth here. But as soon as he turns around, you can just walk past him. And I don't know if you saw to the left, but there was a guy in the lobby. He was walking down the stairs, and he does walk down that hallway. And here we come across another camera, but we have a light that we can shoot out. And uh, one thing. Right after you tap into the computer, you are given this note that gives you the key code for the weapons testing department. So the key code is 110700. Now you might need to be a little careful right here because when that door is open, that camera can see you, so you might just want to wait for it to close before you stand here. Well, tell Clarence I'm gonna but have his ass you'll notice there is a guard right there, so you kind of have to wait for him to finish his conversation. And TV. after he's finished, he'll head over to the vending machine. Uh, but after the, he goes to the vending machine, he'll head back into his office and conveniently stare I don't at know. I don't care. the Fix back it. wall, whatever is uh, on those things right here. But you just sit right here, wait for him to pass by. You can come over here if you want to. This is a much better hiding spot. You're in complete darkness here, so he won't be able to see you. But all you need to do is just wait for him to go back to the office, and then he just... Uh, I believe he just stays there for the rest of the time. But yep, that's all he does. He just stares with his back towards you. So you can just come through the door. Uh, I believe there's a data stick on this computer if you want it. But there are some, uh, whoops. I always forget you have to use the D-pad when you uh, interact with this menu system here. But you can just pick up these flares. I believe the data stick talks about this uh, sentry gun thing right here. Uh, you can usually interact with it and hack it so you can turn it off. IFF is basically just, um, you know, friendly stuff. But, uh, let's see, flares. Yeah, they do exactly what you'd imagine a flare to do. They just light up, and you can use them as a distraction. And uh, This door is locked, and I guess I can show you the disposable picks now as well. All you need to do is just use it. There you go. Very quick. Very quick. Then just call the elevator, and head up. And that will take us into the uh, next next area here we'll have a loading screen coming up once we reach the top I just sent you Doherty's file he's in information retrieval office 508 what do I do with Doherty stay out of his way for now we'll get back to you when we find more on it now we are in the offices section all you need to do to get past these guys is just go behind uh, this stuff right here. Any order? Nope. Take it back. You can just uh, work your way around. There's nobody that should really cause you any trouble except that guy if he just moves at the wrong time. You'll just might want to just check and make sure he's not looking in your direction as you walk by. But right there, if you remember, 508 is Doherty's office. And right there is Doherty. Now, one thing to be careful of is that there is a guy that will eventually come out of that room and work his way uh, out here. And I'm kind of unsure if I should even go in Doherty's office right now because I'd, I'll need to turn off the light. And I don't know if that would cause this guy to notice or not. And that is the last thing that I would want to do. 
So I'm just going to cut for a little bit and wait for this guy to walk by. There he is. Or, you know, I don't think I really need to cut. I think I can just wait right here for him to walk by so you can see his, uh, his path or pattern. I don't know where he goes exactly, but um, I don't believe he is an issue. But here we are in Doverty's office. You can turn off the light switch and then use the computer. Great work, Fisher. How are we doing, Grim? Working on it. Very clever back door. Looks like Philip Mass's work. Bouncing to a server. Surf Kalina underscore VA, which is the Kalina Tech building in... Oh, black hell, somebody spotted me. I shut down. We'll call back. Fisher, we're gonna need you to bag Doherty. What happened, Grim's daughter? We'll worry about that. You worry about Doherty. Wait for him to take a smoke break. It'll make grabbing him easier. Details on your offset. Okay, sorry about that. I totally forgot there was a uh, checkpoint right there. If I remembered, I wouldn't have interrupted that uh, Meaning we have three uh, conversation there with uh, Grim and Lambert. But here, uh, it's completely dark because they're Agent watching Marks something on the projector, so what you need to do is just kind of sit right here and wait. Eventually the guy talking will get a phone call and these guys will kind of just sit back and move and just take a break. And so we have to get through that door right there, but after this guy gets his phone call, he moves all the way back uh, into that back area right there. So that's what we're going to be waiting on. Parties who have these codes are hospital directors and us. If these codes came from CIA files, then excuse me. Yeah. Yeah, I'm telling them about it now. The, oh, hold on a sec. Um, I'm going to be a few minutes if you guys want to take a break. All right, I'm back. And he just got his phone call, and all you need to do is just yeah. walk around here. Oh, and the door is locked. I almost forgot about that, so we'll uh, use our lock picks on it. And so Doherty is right in here having a conversation with somebody, so we just have to wait on him to finish that. Somebody's going to have to clean that up. I gotta run, Mitch. Take it easy. So you can just wait right here. You don't want to get too close. But right there, that is a keypad locked door. And the uh, in order to get the code, you need to go into the room that that guy just went into. Oh, and also, the reason we didn't go around is because there's a guy sitting right there and there's also a camera. So I just went through there to make it quite a bit easier. Now, one way to get past this door would be to just um, wait for him to enter the key, key, uh, key code and then just trail right behind him uh, before the door closes. So that's definitely one way to do it, theoretically. I haven't actually tried it myself, but uh, if you actually want to get the code, it's right in here. Now, there's two guys inside, so you will need to move slowly, but the computer's right here. They both have their back to you and they will not notice you at all. So just use the computer, walk through, you can read the data stick and get the code, and the code is 0614. Now Doherty is to the right, he's in the smoking room right here, but uh, or right over there, actually, but right here, if you'll notice the UFO sightings office. Well, let's let's take a look. That's uh, a locked door, so we'll need to uh, pick this if we want to get inside. Come on. There we go. Now there's another door with the keypad on it so we can't go through there but there is a computer so let's get a data stick off of this and see what it says oh man you can't really read that but there is a sequence of numbers that seems to repeat itself 020781 well if you put that in on the keypad right here uh, 020781 that opens the door and you get, I guess, a somewhat secret 
secret area, but it has three sticky cameras and two sticky shockers. And if you're, uh, you know, playing normally where you're knocking people out, this will actually be pretty useful for the segment that's coming up because it, uh, without knocking people out, uh, the next part is pretty, not necessarily difficult, but kind of annoying. So all you need to do is just come in here and knock him out. But one thing to notice is that there is a guy patrolling outside. Junior Wilkes is in position for extraction. He's a special agent Baxter, an interrogations expert. They've got a disappearance truck parked in the back. So when you knock him out, you're going to want to make sure you shoot these lights out really quick so that he doesn't notice you. But now that you're here, there is quite a bit of dark area, so you're free to move around quite a bit. But you need to wait for this guy to make his round on this side. He'll walk over there, and then he'll walk, like, right about to here. So what you want to do is just sit right here. And yes, we have to carry Doherty all the way to the extraction point. So you move uh, pretty slowly, and then you have to avoid guards. Which is what I said earlier when, uh, you know, uh, taking people out makes this a lot easier. Well, not necessarily easier, but just not annoying, really. Because now not only do I have to avoid these guys, but I also have to move very, very slowly. But as soon as this guy starts moving back that way, you can move uh, past him. Now you don't want to stand up because you make noise. You move a little bit faster, but you do make noise. Enough noise for him to notice. So once you're far enough away, you can probably stand up. And then work your way across the uh, pathway here. It is lit up, so you should move. You shouldn't waste any time, basically. Got another complication for you. Some CIA security dick is chatting up Junior Wilkes and Baxter. How were they spotted? They weren't hiding. NSA presence on Langley is completely legit. Hmm. The only problem is me and Doherty. Right. A SIGINT ninja with an unconscious bureaucrat on his shoulder is less the cult setting, so don't let him see you. One annoying thing is that you have to put bodies down before you open doors. You can't open a door while carrying somebody. But once you get into here, uh, let's see, there is a technician who sits right there, but he also goes back and forth between that giant pipe right there, so you'll want to watch out for that. But there's also a security guard patrolling the area. He stops right there in that middle section, goes to this doorway, and then moves all the way to the right side. Now there is also a guard uh, outside down there, and I heard his footsteps and he sounded pretty close. So I'm not going to risk it by going out there because he would be facing right in my direction and he'd be able to see me. So I'm going to wait here, wait for this guy to make his rounds, and I should be clear to go the next time I have a chance. That guy that's walking outside there should have his back towards me. So, as soon as he moves, you can start making your move, and you are pretty dark when you're... Shoot. Yeah, they noticed me. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, and I'm now back here. I just made it to this spot right here, and I'm going to try something a little bit different this time. Uh, I'm going to wait here, wait for this guy to uh, start walking by, see if I can get a chance to walk by without him noticing me. And that is exactly what I did. But once that guy is down there, you're pretty clear to move. And what you want to do is you want to come here right into the corner, and you're in just enough darkness 
so that uh, this guy won't see you when he walks by. But if you remember what Lambert just told you, he told you that there is a CIA agent talking to uh, Wilkes. And so we will need to take him out before we uh, rendezvous with them. But as soon as he walks past you, you can make a move for it. And there is a guy down at the end there. So uh, once you reach this spot, you want to come inside here because this guy does patrol this area just a little bit. He goes pretty much right in the middle of the light right there. So you can just sit here and wait for him to, to move away. And as soon as he does, you can make your way past. Now when you get here, you have a light that you'll need to uh, take out, which is that light right there. So you can just shoot it out, and nobody will notice right away. This guy will notice when he gets to the bottom of the stairs, but it's not much of a big deal. So this guy has four stops. He stops right there. He stops midway down the stairs right there, he stops at the very bottom of the stairs, and he stops about right where that fence begins. And as soon as he makes his way to the very bottom of the stairs, that's when we are going to make our move. Or well, at least not at the very bottom, once he gets out of sight of you, you can, uh, you can start moving forward. So if you want to, you can sit in that corner right there if you think you need a little more time to uh, make your move, but I'm going to try to go a little quick here and just work my way down and then just sit right here and wait for him to go back up the stairs. You don't want to move quite yet. You want him to get a little bit away from you so that he doesn't hear you moving, but as soon as he's past you, uh, just keep going. Now we took that light out because if we didn't, this whole area would have been lit up and that guy would have noticed you right away. So now the thing to worry about is this guard right here. The only light you can shoot out is that one right there. You can't shoot out that light. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put him down. Now you can approach this however you want to. You mean you actually deal with humans sometimes? Rarely, but yeah. Awesome. Uh, what I'm going to do... So, uh, what do you use? I don't understand the question. I think I'm going you know, to, uh, kind of walk up and grab him. I'm clean. Now, in order to grab him, uh, I need to wait for this guy right. to move ah. past. I like barbiturates. As soon as he moves past, like bread, you're blues. free to What's move up right? and grab him. And then you can just take him back. And you should be able to get into the darkness soon enough for that guy to uh, not notice. And then, when you're in darkness, just knock him out. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is shoot out this light, because there's really no way you'd be able to uh, put the body down without him seeing, so you have to shoot out that, that light, unless you plan out some really careful careful planning but like you get stuck Thank here God. and you can't I move once you start away. talking to these this guys friend, and that guy still moves and that must be Dard. did Lambert tell you about Sarah no she's fine the blackout spooked her but she's completely all right ah. don't get too emotional let's get out of here thanks Will. and there we are it uh, took a little while but we finally made it through the CIA mission Interrogation of Mitchell Doherty reveals a compulsive disorder that moved him to hoard data on an insecure computer, thereby allowing an intelligence leak. Grimm's daughter traces the leak to the nearby offices of Kalinatech. During the process, her intrusion is detected, necessitating an emergency infiltration of Kalinatech. Now that will wrap up this episode. In the next episode, we will make our way to the Kalinatech building. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.